Hey everybody, today we have an Optima that was sent in by a uh, customer from my day job. It's an HD27 that is not working. Now I have a uh, HD26 myself. And I suspect this may have a similar problem as mine had. Let's see, it is here. Let's see, it won't turn on. When they turn it on, they get a power light, blinks red, and the lamp light stays on. Um, no fan, apparently. So they tried replacing the lamp, thinking that was the issue. It's always a, a good first step, uh, but it didn't resolve it. So it's now here. Let's see. Let's pop this out. Unplug that. Yeah, this looks a lot like my uh, HD26 and the uh, 143s. Let's see, that's his original lamp. Doesn't look too bad. Original lamp's probably fine. Looks like it's a Phillips. So what I wanted to do is check in there. See the color wheel? And it looks like it's all intact as well. Let's fire it up. Let's see that. Need to put something in there to hold the uh, color wheel switch in. Let's see. All right, so I have some, uh, this is just like tubing off the outside of an old lamp wire. So I'm just kind of folding it up and shoving it in the door switch. There we are, door switch is held in. Let's bang the tripod while I get power cord. Power on. All right, so we have standby. That's good. Just want to turn this a little so that you can have the color wheel in view. And I'll shine a flashlight to make that color wheel a little more obvious. I'll dim it down a little. Okay, so power. Nothing. No fans. Oh, color wheel just spun up. And it should stop. That's a quiet color wheel. Oh, wait. Or did it spin and stop? Oh, no, it's not spinning. It just kicked for a second and then stopped. All right. So it should do that three times before we get a lamp light. I hear a fan. Oh, there it goes again. Now it could be a missing index mark though. It'll still spin. There we go, and it's stopping. All right, I'm just going to uh, pretend it went through all three of them. See this, put his old lamp back in. And plug our wire back in. All the way down. Watch it be something stupid like the wire wasn't in all the way. Try it again. Color wheel spun, lamp just lit. I swear, people don't people don't pay attention to what they're doing. Uh, there's the display. 
really much zoom, is there? Yeah, there's really not a whole lot. Uh, let's go down to the test pattern. Yeah, I mean the picture's coming up nice and bright. This looks fine. Probably needs a cleaning. And that's actually good. Uh, this will be a good time to show off my new idea for cleaning. So let's, oh, actually, let's check. No. Menu. Let's see. Lamp hours. That's what I wanted to check. Yeah, there's only. 844 total hours, 877 bright hours, it's, yeah, this, this lamp is fine, there's very little wrong with this projector, and turn it off, and I think we'll remove the top and I'll give it a cleaning, I uh, wanted to show you guys this, this is a, like a, a pesticide puffer, like you fill this with diatomaceous earth or some kind of powder that you want to put somewhere and then you can so I think we can maybe use this for cleaning the projector here we are, it's turned off let's unplug it, get our little bypass out Now, as far as lamp problems, I suspect you didn't have the connector down all the way. There's a little notch. Inside, use the, use the light from this. See that little notch there? That's going to line up with the right side of the connector. You can see that that connector is keyed. So if you don't have it the right way, it won't sit down all the way and make a good connection. And then you won't have a light. I do wonder why it stopped for him. Right, one, two, three, four, five. One, and six. Three, four, five, six. Now the top should pop off. There we go. Let's just put this lens cap back on and Oh, we got a ladybug. Got a ladybug or dead ladybug carcass. Blower fan looks pretty clean. That guy right there, you can see it just goes through that uh, that little duct. This is the same color wheel setup as the other one, so definitely there could be something about to happen in there. Let's. Uh, I wonder if I can get in there without taking everything out. Yeah, I can. We're going to take the museum in more. All right, so this is the color wheel sensor that monitors the index mark. This will tell me if we have a problem with the index mark. Hopefully we'll be able to see it. We're looking for the black mark. That guy. It's not loose or coming up. Color wheel feels good. Let's see if this is dusty at all. 
little bit. Not terrible, but a little bit. And here's what I'll do. <laughs> Let's see. You can do this one-handed. Nice. See, these are good. Oh, ha. Oh. That just fell out. I wonder where that was. That looks like the edge. Oh, where are we at here? That looks like the edge of a bulb, like the outer rim. I'm trying to see if there's any glass missing. Cause that's what it looks like. Yeah, uh, it's hard to tell. Thought I saw something on that far side, but I'll bet you that glass got into something. Maybe making that stick. Cause it did come out when I started cleaning it. All right, this thing's not. For <clears throat> pardon me, not very dusty. So. reason I like this thing is you're not going to uh, <clears throat> get too much pressure and cause a problem. So this looks good. Got that chunk of glass out. Let's get sensor back. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's get the sensor back in. I'm going to reinstall the top and then we can let's get that back straight so it lines up with that. this up and we'll cook it and uh, as long as it runs a couple hours it'll go right back to the fellow and he'll be back in business and he won't actually he'll probably get some money back because he doesn't need the new lamp that he bought because the uh, old lamp is uh, barely half used you know, 870 hours is barely anything on one of these. I think that's what it's... Oh, that's right. Let's look. Let's see if that came out of here. We're just going to pop the cover off. Just the back shroud. I'm not going to touch the lens or the bulb. Take the back of the housing off. Let's see, that is an OEM. Looking for where that chunk of glass came from. I think it may have come from under here.
looks like that corner is a little flatter, if you will. Yep. That piece. Whoops. Need to focus. That's a problem. So let's put this back together and uh, I'll get her fired up and get it testing. My uh, test is to uh, put on some YouTube videos for a couple hours depending on who needs some uh, extra views. I, uh, I don't run my channel because, I don't know, it seems wrong to do it that way. But there's uh, there's this fella I watch, uh, Crazy Russian Sergey. Sergey. Um, great channel. I like him a lot. Good content. Interesting fellow. Give him a shot. He doesn't quite have a thousand subs as of this video, so check him out if uh, if you're interested in learning about other countries. He's in St. Petersburg, Russia, and lived in the U.S. for a few months, so he's got a nice perspective on things. And he just seems like a genuinely nice person. So, all right. So that's back together. Let's drop it in. Up. Then we're going to put this in so the connector is the right direction, like that. And we'll put the lid back on, the uh, lid, the lamp door. Like that. Happy, happy. And power cord. Because I want a good uh, closing shot for my thumbnail. So there we are. We have standby. Power. Now take the uh, lens cap off. Yeah, optimum, looks good, nice and crisp. There's our menu coming up. So there we go, if uh, you have an HD27 or really any Optima and your lamp's not that old and it stopped working, check it for debris. That seems to be a common thread with a lot of projectors is you just get a little, little chunk of glass in the wrong spot, either from an old lamp that burst or apparently an OEM that cracked for whatever reason. They probably over tightened that screw. But um, yeah, I like these. No parts needed, not dirty, lamps in good shape. He can just put this back in and get back to uh, enjoying it. So if you have any questions about your DLP projector, Optima or otherwise, stick it in the comments or better yet, actually, as it's getting hard to answer all the comments, go to reddit.com slash r slash projectors and they have a great community over there I participate in that it's a little easier to uh, get the whole pool of talent helping everyone so head over there leave a comment here whatever works for you my emails in the uh, about page if you need me directly uh, but most importantly as always thank you for watching